What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another pack opening, and today we are opening the newest set, Amazing Defenders. Pretty hyped for this one. All right, we are going to go ahead and get right into this. You guys know how this is. So this is going to count as the value series. It's a earlier one. I'm recording this literally like a day after the set came out, so prices may be a little bit different in the future, so just keep that in mind if you're watching. But let's get right into it so got them all nice and separated my cat just woke up she's gonna start yelling at me i may have to go let her out here in a second but there are these new uh paw paw like creatures uh that's what i want out of this set and also if you're new to the value series we only count cards over a dollar so i don't know how well this set's gonna do but all right and make sure so Infernoble, the great, oh, there's X Pearly, New War, just what I want. I, I want really just these cards. I don't care about the other archetypes that much. I just want that. Limiter removal, that's cool to see. All right, next one. B, dope. I think the only way we're making our money back is if we do hit one of those, uh, what do you call it, collector rares. We got Makanko, Fire Dance, beautiful. Makanko Promise, Infernoble Knight, Reinforcement. Ooh, Hurley Yeep, Hurley Yeep. I hope I said that right. So I know Infernoble's in here because the robot, like, yeah, the machine archetype utilizes fire monsters, so. Oh, we got I sold. I, I said that so wrong. <laughs> okay, but we're going to ignore that. Hidden Armory. XYZ Reborn. XYZ. And Sacred Scrolls. This set didn't seem to have like a ton of hype behind it. Everyone's really waiting for, what is it? Photon Hypernova? There's that machine. They're all fire. For Noble Knight Renald. But yeah, everybody's kind of waiting for the new like main series set Ooh, card trooper nice i know i want that but i really want the reprints of the classic like invasion of chaos i want those the, those are really what i'm looking forward to this year and that maze set because the maze set is reprinting what is it um oh that's gorgeous oh e pearly plump that adorable. Uh, sorry, I lost my train of. Oh, e pearly happiness. Cool. Okay, yeah. But as I was saying, the maze set is reprinting Gate Guardian, which is sick. I think that's awesome. Even though we're going to be getting it in the actual reprinted old sets, but it'll be. Oh, I think we're getting an ultra here in a second. There it is, alert. Don't know this card, but it's for a rescue ace. Okay, so not really what I'm looking for, but maybe it's worth something. Maybe it'll help our value on this. I, I feel like I'm rambling, but you know, I'm just excited for all the new sets. We got a E Pearly Beauty. I'm loving it. I'm here for it. Give me all, all of the pearlies. I just, I would like to see some new cool sets out of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think they're doing good, but they, they could be turning the heat up a little bit. XYZ Import. Rescue Ace Impulse. Okay. Yeah, don't know if you guys have seen my other openings, but I'm doing like Magic the Gathering and Pokemon. And just opening all the sets, it's made me realize Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't the worst. It's... Yeah. But it, in terms of like sets, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! could be doing a lot more than what it does. Oh, we got Miro... Mirror <laughs> Makanko. But yeah, they. I feel like they could do more in terms of, you know... 
Pokemon has elite trainer boxes. Magic has these cool theme boosters. They have yeah, just tons. There's tons of things. And Yu-Gi-Oh! seems pretty... Oh, here's our next Ultra. Rescue Ace Turbulence. Kind of a bummer. I don't, I don't want the Rescue Ace stuff, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Hurly yeep. Alright. Well, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying about that. Like, hit that Hidden Arsenal set that I made a video on, it did pretty well. I was just trying to explain the set wasn't necessarily bad, it's just who is it for? You know? Like, a lot of their sets don't seem to be for anyone in specific, except for these. But, I, I don't know. Maybe I am just rambling at this point. I just... I just get confused by some of their decisions. Because certain sets just come out and then they die. They're never opened again. Nobody wants them. They don't move off the shelves. Like Tactical Masters I see all over the place. But it's a really good set. But only if you want to play Labyrinth, really. That's like the main... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to stop talking about that. <laughs> but we did get Heavenly Gate of the Makanko. An Ultra. Did we get... We get three. Three Ultra Rares. I don't know how many Ultra Rares you should get. I'm pretty sure you only get three. So, that's a bummer. Maybe we have a Collector's Rare in here. Because we got a lot of packs left. Or maybe something weird happened. Let's see. Deep Early Happiness. We're going to go faster now. But man, it's just been a minute since I've opened something new from Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that's all it is. It's kind of Immortal Phoenix Gear Fiend. Gear Freed. Sorry. Wrong, wrong pronunciation. Okay. Pronunciation. Get in the Great Makanko. E Pearly Plump. Beautiful. Yeah, the main reason I, I'm serious when I say I bought this just for the pearly stuff. That's all I want. I may not open a ton of this set in particular because, I mean, if I really want to make the pearly stuff, I'll just go buy the singles. I don't feel like opening a bunch of this set and getting all the cards that I don't want. Overlay regen. Like, well... That, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. That's a pretty good super rare. I don't know. That, that, that could help the pearlies actually because we got new XYZs in them. Not new, but XYZs. Oh! We got a collector's rare. You guys see that? Oh, please be a pearly. Please be a pearly. Please. We got Guard Trooper. <laughs> what a meme. What a meme. Oh my gosh. Not bad. I mean, it, need, it needed it, right? A foil upgrade. Why not? That is gorgeous. Wow, these collectors really look better. Is it just me? Or do these look better than usual? I don't know. That looks very good. Wow. Okay, yeah. I don't know how much that's going to be worth. We'll find out. Well, you guys will see. But that is awesome. We pulled a collector's rare. Pulled all of our ultra rares. There should be nothing left in this box. So we're going to fly through here. Immortal Phoenix. It'd be dope if we got a fourth ultra. This, this box would be cracked. This would be cracked. Now in terms of value series, I'm not sure how this will do. But since it's earlier, you know, only like a day or so after that I'm editing this, the prices may be on its side. So it may get lucky. It may get... Oh, there we go. We got the normal card trooper. Beautiful. I think we already pulled it, actually. So. Here we go. 
we go. One for one again. Beautiful. That's actually a great pull. In our final pack. I can't believe we got a collector's rare. That's pretty insane. I should be more hype about that, but it wasn't what I wanted. So, yeah, call me stingy, I guess. E pearly beauty. Beautiful. I love it. Not bad. Not terrible. I don't think I'll open booster boxes of this. Like, maybe I'll get some single packs, but... Yeah, let's see how it did on the value. Well, you guys will already see, but I'll find out. Yeah, it was fun. Got some cool cards. If you're looking for these three specific archetypes, I say go for this set. It seems pretty good. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. We'll catch you. Peace.